Hi guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about custom lists in uh, in Excel. What I mean by that is, uh, let's try it out. Let's try something out. For instance, if I type in Monday, and then I fill it down, I'm going to get the rest of the weekdays. And then you'll notice after Sunday, I'm getting Monday again and Tuesday and so on. Uh, the same thing goes for months, January. I gotta spell it right though, January. And same story. I can even start in June, for instance, and I'll get the rest of the months. And then after December, it just starts all over again. So the question is, how, how does Excel know that? And my second question is, let's say I want the, um, I don't know, the, the, the weekdays in French. So let's say I type in lundi, that's uh, uh, Monday, if, if, uh, Monday in French, and I drag it down, the, nothing happens. I don't get the rest of the, um, of the days in French. So why not? Well, the whole secret lies here under File, Options, uh, what I, uh, this is now version 2010. In older versions of Excel, you would have uh, a menu uh, in the in your menu. You would have here something called options, and then uh, you would have something here called uh, or to, no, sorry, you would have here something called tools. And if you go to tools, you would have at the bottom something called options, and in that you have multiple tabs, and one of those tabs. Uh, I can't remember the, the, the exact name, but one of those tabs was called lists or something like that. In version 2010, and I suspect in later versions, it's here under file, options, and then you go to advanced, and then you just scroll way down there, right to the bottom, and you have here a button called edit custom lists. And if you click on it, you'll come into this window. And this window is exactly the same in all Excel versions. It hasn't changed at all. I don't know if it's if it's different in later versions. I mean, versions after 2010, but before before 2010, that window looks always always looked the same. Anyways, now we wish to uh, you'll see here the lists of our of what we used Monday. Oh, that's that's why it, it recognized the weekdays in uh, uh, and the months. And it also has the, because I'm using here a German version, uh, it also has the weekdays and the months in German. However, we need weekdays in French. So I, what I got to do, I got to um, uh, build a new list. So I just click on new list. You'll see the cursor is automatically here. And now I uh, put in my uh, uh, French uh, word, uh, my French weekdays. And the first one is lundi. Now I could separate with a comma and then uh, input the next day or what well, my opinion much easier just put a return and then write the next day Marty then the next day is Mercredi that's Wednesday then and I cannot guarantee that they're spelled correctly but that's beside the point then Judy then I've got like Wondredi that is Friday Samedi is Saturday and Dimanche is Sunday so my list is complete I just go and add and there you go it's in here and then I go okay Okay, let's try it out. Let's start with Marty. And I autofill. And bang, there they are. And the nice thing about it, that and that applies to all this. If I, if I write it in small letters, then they're all small. If I write it in all caps, let's say like uh, Dimanche. And then autofill. They're all in all caps. So that's the beauty of it. Now, another way, just let me remove all that stuff. Another way to add this is, let's say you're in a company and you have your departments. So departments and you have your purchase, you have sales, you have engineering, you have uh, IT, you have uh, administration. So, and you wish to have to build a list with these departments. Well, you go to file. Um, options and then advanced scroll to the bottom on this bottom edit edit custom list and now what you in this in this case they're already here you don't have to input them again here what you do is just you click in this field and select 
those departments and then you say import and they're in there and then okay okay and then you can just let's let's give it in let's try that administration and if i autofill then i got the rest of the um, departments one thing i would like to mention especially for people already experienced in excel because we imported that list some uh, you know uh, professional excel users they they would assume okay you know what if i change that then my list should automatically change because my list is linked to this uh, to this cell range well it isn't linked it just imported it because we changed that but if i read if i just go in here and autofill again i'm just getting the same stuff as before i'm not getting this change in here because let me go back to file options advanced and then here this list has been imported from the from the cell range and it's been copied in here so it has no relation to the cell range so any changes you do to that cell range do not apply to your list if you wish to change your list you gotta go in here right now here and change it here so let's say I wish to change purchase into uh, into short form per and sales into SL and engineering into ENG and so on administration into admin okay and then now if I go and add that old list gets overwritten with this new list Add, and you see old one is gone and now I got these um, th this new list this is the only way you can change your list not so so, so do not think that, oh yeah, you know what, I, I, I imported that list out of this cell range. So if I change the cell range, the list will change. No, you got to go into that list and change it the way I shown before. And that's why uh, such lists are perfect for things that do not change often. Let's say like, you know, weekdays or months, but also let's say departments of a company or cities of a certain state, stuff like that. Lists are ideal because, let's say you want to build a table and you you need your uh, every time every time you build a table you need your departments. So you just type in any department and just then autofill. And you don't have to. You see now it doesn't work anymore because we changed the departments. They're now in short form. So if I, I need to put in admin, and then it works. And the other thing is, do not think that it only works downwards. You can also autofill. To the right or to the left it doesn't matter so you can see i can i can build a table w each column has these has a department and already i i got a thing uh, I, got, I got my table sorted uh, another thing what i used to do i used to teach a lot of, uh, i used to teach a lot in, in the past life classes and we used to build a lot of examples in the class and instead of every time having to type in some sample names we wanted to type a b c and so on you know it's so speed up things so what i had the students do i had the students go there to file options uh, advanced and then edit customs and we created a new list where we typed in those sample names e f g h let's say yeah you could take it all the way down to z but let's say we take it to H, add, that's it. So now, every time I we have an example, an Excel example, we just type in A, just autofill, and now we can uh, t uh, punch in some numbers and calculate or do diagrams. We don't waste time typing in names. So that was another useful uh, application for such custom lists.